just did something so impulsive. I had a doctor's appointment and then on my way home, I went to an art store. It's a beautiful day to get some art supplies. We're gonna do a haul video. It's gonna be a nice, cozy time. I have a snack here. I've got Pocky, I've got coffee. Let's open all this stuff. I also have some boxes, so we're gonna open those too. But I wanna show you something. I'm gonna show you a sneak peek at a painting that I will show soon on my channel. Oh my goodness. Folks, I have been so inspired lately and on this mission to use up art supplies, not buy art supplies, even though that totally just backfired, but Whatever. So I was trying to use up all my canvases. I almost used them all up and then I started running out of paint. So I was like, well, now I need to go get more paint. So I go to Blix and then I end up buying more paint and more canvases because like, how can you not when they're 50% off? Cause they're having this massive sale right now. By the time this goes up, I don't know if the sale's still going on, but um, yeah, I'm repeating the cycle now. So I'm gonna show you what I got, but this is a painting that I finished yesterday. I have been doing a lot of paintings. You can squint in the background and try to get sneak peeks of other paintings. My whole art room is chaos right now. Let's just have a chaotic energy type video together because yeah, why not? I have this package here. This wasn't part of the art haul, just kidding. I got phone chargers cause all of ours in the house are broken. Okay, let's start the real haul. So some of these things, I'm not gonna tell you what they're for. Where do scissors be going all the time? I have so many scissors and I can't find a single pair. The game today, you have to guess what some of these are for. This big box. The first part of this haul, we have cake pans. I'm not saying what they're for, but I will let you guess. Cake pans, right here. Let me just pull this. Okay, inside of this box, galvanized welded wire. Any ideas yet? That's another hint. Contact paper. That's the first part of the haul. I'm not saying what any of that is for, but that is for a future video. If I don't follow through with this project and y'all are asking me about it seven months from now, I am sorry. This is something I've been planning for months though, so I hope I follow through with it. I'd gone thrifting numerous times to try to get things for this, and I have some things for this, and it is a huge project. Okay, so let's get to the meat and potatoes of this uh, haul. I'm not really in the mood to do a huge art project today because the amount of huge art projects that I have going on in this room right now is like wild. I can show you next week or the week after because I'm working on a lot of things. I feel so scatterbrained. <laughs> but I got this giant 24 by 24 canvas. This is exciting because I've used all my large canvases. <laughs> this is kind of fun. <laughs> this is like my favorite brand canvas if I'm not using the smooth gesso board, which is what this painting is right here. This is ampersand gesso board. You've heard me talk about these a lot. Every time I do art hauls, you see Probably both canvases in them. So I got a 16 by 16 inch canvas. But yeah, these Blix canvases here, gallery profile, they are so good. I love them so much. I've tried so many canvases in my lifetime. I have to say, I think these are my favorite. They had a sale on canvases, so I got some 20 by 20 canvases as well, three of them. Oh, this is so exciting because I just used up my last of the giant canvases. Like these ones aren't even that big, but I I didn't have a ton of room in my car. So that's five canvases, but that is not all. I got two eight by eight canvases. I know this seems extra, but the amount of paintings I am doing behind the scenes right now, <laughs> I'm filming them in bits and pieces. So you will see like a huge painting compilation video soon. Kind of like that floral collection, but this one is different. The only 10 by 10 canvas that they had, which was really sad because when I went there, this was like the size I really wanted. But I'll just go back or I'll order online. It's okay. And then I got three 12 by 12 canvases. 
So yeah, I'm loaded on canvases. Feels good to be stocked on the basics again, you know? Can't create if I don't have my favorite surface, right? By the way, this is not sponsored by Blix. I'm just obsessed with their canvases. Now let's jump into some other things, like my snack here. Today is such a scatterbrained day. I'm getting over an ear infection right now. I'm finally starting to feel better. The last couple videos have been weird because I haven't really been able to hear well. So I did like some weird voiceovers and stuff. Like it's just allergies and ear infection. <laughs> I feel fine. It's all good though. This bag here weighs so much, but there's a lot of sweet stuff in here. So yeah. Okay, let's open this mysterious bag. So I got, as you saw, canvases. The things that I go back to all the time. And yeah, I, uh, I'm excited for that, but I also got some new things. So we're gonna have some fun videos coming up. This is something that I've wanted to try for such a long time and I couldn't get over the price. Oh, and I kind of have guilt for getting them, but I really wanted to do this. It is literally oil paint in stick form. That's what it says here on these right here. The cool thing about these is they are light fast. They conform to the ASTM standards, which is really sweet. I thought it would be really fun to test these because the painting I showed you earlier will tie into this. Do you see a theme here with these colors? Okay, let's revisit this painting I showed you earlier in the video. I love painting water so much, and I really want to try doing it with oil paint sticks. Because I think for water, it would give a really cool movement or texture or like stylistic, impressionistic tone, you know? I think it'll be really fun. So I'm gonna try it probably soon on my channel. So just keep an eye out. But I got a lot of blue colors for this, like ultramarine pale blue. I decided to be a little more muted with the yellows. So I got Naples yellow, and then I got this blending stick here. So it just helps you blend the colors is what I'm assuming. I don't know, I'm gonna have to toy around with these, but I will trial it with you folks so you can see, I don't know, my first impression. I'm so excited for this though. This is something, yeah, it's been on my mind for a really long time. Look at how beautiful this phthalo green is. Pale phthalo green. This is gonna be so fun. I feel like this year I've been really into painting and just diving into the things that really inspire me, things that really help me to enjoy the creative process. I think this is something that will be a fun thing to try. I've been on this kick too of like trying to use what I already have and I feel like I just <laughs> ruined that, but whatever. The beauty of this art haul you folks get to experience all of this with me. I got something else for us to try together though. This is the Golden So Flat Matte Acrylic Paint. And the impression that I get from this is it's kind of like Holbein Acrylic Wash, which I use all the time, but I really like the Golden brand paints. So I thought, let's try this out. We'll probably do a painting with this at some point. The packaging is really cute too, so that's cool. We're gonna have a lot of fun art projects coming up. I feel so inspired right now. <laughs> the rest of this bag, it just feels so obnoxious. Let me just show you. You see all that? First of all. <laughs> I didn't see you folks. It's like as big as my head almost. It's just titanium white because I am going through so many tubes of it. When I say I've been painting a lot, I mean, I have been painting a lot. <laughs> and I'm tired of buying tubes of white. So I decided, let's get this. We have a lot of colors here. I got a massive tube of Payne's Gray because I am tired of running out of this. And I didn't think I would need a tub of this. I got phthalo blue, also giant tube. Can you tell I'm preparing for some water paintings perhaps? Or just like nature-y stuff in general? They have iridescent heavy body acrylic paints. So I got the bronze one, I got the copper one, and I got the pearl one. 
I got these beautiful fluorescent acrylics. I think it would be fun to try some really brave underpaintings and let some of this show through. Okay, and then I got a lot of colors that I just, I ran out of and I needed more. I was pretty much like trying to stretch my paints last night and get them to last. That's, that's the colors. That's pretty much the art haul. I mostly just got the things that I already use a lot. Since you stuck around until basically the end, I'm gonna show you some sneak peeks of some projects that I've been working on. Here's this acrylic painting. This one took me a really long time to do, but I'm really happy with how it came out. The process will be out soon. There'll be tons of paintings in that video, but this is what started it all, actually. Before I show you another sneak peek, I wanna show you something that has been like a question in some of my videos lately. People have asked me like, why do you squirt so much paint on your palette if you're just gonna waste it and not use it um, in the video? And I'm gonna answer that question and show you what I actually do because I do not like to waste paint at all. And I know I joke that I have crusty brushes and crusty palettes and stuff, but it is not from wasting. Like I'm very, very stingy with my paint. So I get these butcher trays here. I actually cover them with this giant lino cut square. This is what it is. And it keeps my palette perfectly wet. Like I can get a week out of acrylic paint with this, which is about all the time I really need it for. I always keep a spray bottle nearby so I can just mist it. You can put paint retardant in your acrylic paint if you would like it to last longer as well. I just like to use water, water's free, and then I cover my palette. You can also buy palettes that come with lids and stuff, but I have found through experimenting and having palettes like that, I just like my butcher trays and I like to put my makeshift lid on it. They're huge, it just works for my projects, and yeah, I usually I film a video and you see me put all those dollops of paint on it and it's all pretty and stuff, and then when I'm done filming, I spray down my palette and I cover it and I keep using it for projects. So yeah, just wanted to answer that question since I'm doing a paint haul right now, but I hate wasting paint. That is like, mm -mm. paint is expensive. I'm not gonna waste that. <laughs> <sighs> I will talk about this more in the video that you'll see it in, but there are super blooms this year with poppies in California. This was a really fun painting. There's a lot of detail in this up close, but if you wanna see more of it, I will let you wait. Did you know they sell like massive gallons of this stuff? That was a crazy art haul, but I feel like all my basics are stocked up again and I can keep creating because I was down to my final drops of blue last night. <laughs> that was not fun. Thanks so much for hanging out. This was kind of a weird chatty video, but um, yeah, I guess I just wanted to be transparent with you. There's a lot of art coming. Anyway, thanks for hanging out with me and just chit chatting for a while. I feel like I don't do these types of chit chatty videos often and sometimes it feels nice to connect with you on this level. So if you have any weird things you wanna tell me, like what are you creating right now? Did you recently get a new art supply? If so, what is it, you know? Update me on your life. Thanks for hanging out with me. Have a beautiful day. I'm so addicted to this stuff right now. Okay, bye.